Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to paraphrase your fiction novels using ChatGPT. Alright guys, so I'm on ChatGPT. Alright, so I'm going to assume that you already know how to download your novel from Wattpad. Alright, I have my novel opened up on my Word document, WPS. Alright, so I use WPS, I don't use Microsoft Word because it's easy for me and i've gone ahead to download a novel from Wattpad, all right and i have it opened up so before now there have been a lot of complaints actually from my end i have experienced some challenges using quibot because whenever quibot is done paraphrasing my text there are some synonyms he uses that are not appropriate for that text and if it comes to fiction novels some of the examples i can point out are it can end up converting honey into sugar or you can convert mates into colleague. Okay, these are some of the few examples that I've noticed from Quibot. It can change the meaning of the text into something that is not relevant to the story that is being portrayed. So I found a solution for that. Okay, I'm going to be showing you the perfect prompt that you can use to paraphrase your fiction novels. It's going to maintain the, the meaning of the words. It's going to maintain the number of words that you are giving to it, even if it's going to reduce it. It's not going to reduce it by a huge amount all right so if you're interested and you want to learn this prompt so you can be applying it for your fiction novels then make sure you stay to the end of this video so whenever you download your your novels always convert it into a document format i'm going to show you the reason why all right always convert it into a a document format so it will be easy for you to just copy out the words there all right so once you have downloaded the work <clears throat> next you want to do is to head over to ChatGPT. Now you can use the free version if you don't have the paid version of ChatGPT. All right, but the limitation of this free version is that this free version has a limit to the number of words it can carry. All right, so I just hope this example it will be able to carry the number of words I have for it. So what I'm going to do next, okay? What I'm going to do next, I'm going to give it a prompt. I'm going to open up the prompt now, and then I'm going to show you how I will prompt in ChatGPT. Alright, so the prompt is very, very simple. Something very simple. We want to ask it, I want you to act like we bought. Your job is to use synonyms to rewrite, to rewrite each and every paragraph. No paragraph should be omitted. And then you ask it, do you understand? And then it's going to say, yes, I understand. So I'm going to copy out this prompt. So you can pause the video at this point to copy out this prompt or write it down. It's very simple. This is all the prompt I'm going to give to it. So I'll come to my chat GPT and paste the prompt. All right, I'll come here and I want to paste the prompt. I'll send it. And then it's going to reply, yes, I understand. I'll take each paragraph you provide and write it using synonyms. Ensuring each sentence retains its original meaning, but with different phrasing. Please go ahead and share the text you will like rephrased. All right, so our next job now is to copy out those texts and then paste it to ChatGPT. So I'm going to show you the reason why I said always use documents. All right, convert your downloaded novel from Wattpad to document. So this is the reason why. When you want to copy, instead of just bringing your mouse on your document and then dragging down like this and keep dragging down, okay, I'm going to show you an easier method of doing this so i don't drag down on my mouse what i do is i i take my cursor head my mouse cursor head and place it at the beginning of where i want to start copying from all right as you can see it's blinking so i'm going to hold down the shift key i'm holding down the shift key on my keypad and then i'm pressing the page down page down close to the shift key so i'll click on page down and it's going to copy out the text for me all right so then when i'm done with page down i can now use the arrow key to continue copying for me this is faster than just dragging my mouse over the documents okay so that's why i prefer converting my wattpad book into a document format all right so that i can easily copy it out using holding shift plus page down or holding shift and then the down arrow key on your keyboard on your keypad then I'll control C to copy. All right, I'll copy this out. I'll go back to ChatGPT and then I'll paste it. All right, 
I'll paste it. Now, before this prologue will start, I'm going to do something else. Just watch me. I'm going to copy out this same instruction. I want you to act like we bought. Your job is to use synonyms to write each and every paragraph. No paragraph should be omitted. I'll copy it out again and paste it before the, the, the prologue will start. Are you seeing? So I'll paste this same prompt just before my prologue will start. Alright, so that's the that's the way I do it so that it does not forget the instruction it is supposed to do to this prologue. And then I'll send it. And then it's going to go ahead and rewrite the words for me. So we're going to check the number of words. So the site where why it is para, um, rewriting it and rephrasing it, let us open another site where we are going to use to check the total number of words and then check for plagiarism. All right, so I use the site I use is prepost SEO plagiarism checker prepost seo.com slash plagiarism checker. All right, for me, this is faster than duplicate checker. All right, it's faster than duplicate checker, and I prefer it to Grammarly. Okay, so let's check if it's done copying out the words. So many times when it tells you this, this is because it's not a premium version. All right, this content may violate, so sometimes it tells you it cannot paraphrase because it's going to violate the usage policy if it's a paid version you will click on continue and then tell it that this does not violate your policy all right so let's see how well it's going to do and then we're going to check the number of words remember i told you using chat gpt if you use this my prompt with chat gpt it will not reduce the number of words too much okay it's not going to reduce the number of words too much let us see how it ended the men then took us to their pack house, the reason being to keep us safe, like the man who was the alpha said. The men took us to their pack house, explaining that it was to keep us safe, as their alpha put it. Alright, so it is done paraphrasing now, okay? And when it says this may violate our usage policy, did we get it wrong? Please tell us by giving us a thumbs down. So always tell them, when you click on thumb down, click this didn't violate the policy do you understand always do that if not if you continue without doing this it might refuse to continue paraphrasing your work so when you are done when it is done paraphrasing now let us check for the total number of words right i'm going to copy out from prologue here i'll copy out from prologue here and then i'll copy down to I stop here. I'll copy down till I stop here. Then I'll do Ctrl C. Then I'll take it to the the website where I check plagiarism, and then I'll paste it. So as you can see, the number of words is one thousand four fifty three, one thousand four hundred and fifty three words. Now let us check the document and see the number of words that we copied out, and see if there is a significant word number reduction. All right, so I'll go back to my document. I'll go back to my document. All right, so as you can see, the total number of words we copied were 2,026. All right, 2,026. But after paraphrasing with ChatGPT, it brought it down to 1,453. All right, so I, I believe this is okay. Okay, it did not reduce it too much. And I believe the reason why he even reduced it this much is because it is a free version. All right, if it were the paid version, I, 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 can, I can bet you it's not going to reduce it by more than 200 or 300 number of words. It will still maintain that 2,000 and something or 1,900, close to 2,000. All right, so you can give this a try if you are using premium version of ChatGPT. Okay, just copy out this prompt, okay? Send it to JGPT and ask it to rewrite any number of text for you and it's going to do that and still maintain the number of words. So now this plagiarism checker, now the next thing I want to confirm is if actually it is plagiarism free. Okay, so we have seen the number of words that it still maintained it to a reasonable extent. Alright, unlike QuickBots that will go ahead and then give us synonyms that are not related to what we're talking about. So let us now check for plagiarism. The limitation of this site now is that it can only check 1,000 words per time. Okay, this site can only check 1,000 words per time. So we, are, we have to reduce this number of words from 1,453 
to 1000 okay so i'm going to delete some words okay good so now we can now check for plagiarism plagiarism all right so let's check let's check let's check so uh, as you can see guys it's paraphrased our work and we are having a hundred percent unique content all right so this is an amazing prompt to use for writing your fiction books you can be sure that it's going to paraphrase it in such a way that the content will be unique and it will still maintain the number of words it's not going to reduce it drastically all right so like i said the reason why the words were reduced this to this extent is because this is a free version of chat gpt that i'm using for this tutorial all right i've never had it reduce my words by more than 200 300 before it has never happened and the words has always been plagiarism free okay even if it has plagiarism just like three percent four percent all right so so what i'm going to do next remember i had to reduce i had to reduce the number of words i asked it to check okay so i'm going to delete this part and then paste in those remaining number all right so i'm going to paste in the remaining number that it did not check the plagiarism for and then click check plagiarism so it's going to check the remaining parts of that text that was cut out so let it check the remaining parts then when it's free of plagiarism i will paste it on my microsoft documents and then move to the next chapter as you can see it has 100 percent unique contents okay so i'll go back to ChatGPT now i'll copy out this prompt again so i'm now sure now that this paraphrased content is free of plagiarism i'll copy it out then go to my document and paste it all right so i've pasted it so prologue blah 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 i've pasted it all right so i will now move on to the chapter one so this is what i'll keep doing till i'm done with the book so i will stop here for today's video because i don't want this video to be too long this is just a video on how i paraphrase my fiction book using chat gpt all right so i hope you have gotten value from this video all right if you need help getting started with your fiction book then i'll be dropping my whatsapp link in the description of this video you can just contact me and then i can help you out i can guide you on how to get started writing your fiction book and start earning money on amazon kdp all right so make sure you use the link in the description and contact me right away don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up see you in my next video